What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're going to be looking at how to simplify algebraic expressions using the distributive property and combining like terms. So let's waste no time, let's go. Okay, what do we need to remember today? Well, we're going to be using the distributive property, which is basically the same as expanding brackets, and then we're going to be combining like terms to help us simplify these algebraic expressions. Now, what is an expression? An expression is a series of terms and variables and operations like this that has no equal sign. That's the difference between an expression and an equation. Okay, so let's have a look at this first example. And in this first example, we do not have to use the distributive property because we have no brackets or parentheses if you're from America. So we're just going to be combining the like terms. So what I can first of all do is organize my work a little bit neater and see that I have a 4a here and a positive 2a here. And I can see I have a positive 3b here and a negative b just here. So I can organize my work a little better by saying 4a plus 2a using both of my a's. And then I'm adding it to 3b minus b. So now when I combine the like terms, which means put them together, I can see here I have a 4a and a 2a, which leaves me with 6a plus my positive 3b minus b would leave me with 2b. So our simplified expression is 6a plus 2b. Now this 6a plus 2b has exactly the same value as this original expression. They are equivalent. It's just a simplified version. Okay, so let's look at this slightly harder example then, and I can see I do now have brackets, which means I do need to use the distributive property, and then once I have distributed it, I will have removed the brackets, and I can just combine like terms. So I'm distributing the positive 3 to the a, and I'm distributing the positive 3 to the 9, which means I'm doing positive 3 times a, which would leave me with positive 3a, and then I've got positive 3 times positive 9 gives me positive 20. 7. Put back my 7a at the start, and I have 7a plus 3a plus 27. Now I can begin to combine like terms, and I can see I have like terms with my 7a and my 3a. So 7a plus 3a gives me 10a, and then my positive 27 means plus 27. So my simplified expression would be 10a plus 27. Okay, let's have a little look where we now have one with exponents, this x squared here in my brackets. So this expression says 5, and then in brackets, x squared minus 3 plus 10 minus 4x. So first of all, we're going to use the distributive property to remove this bracket, and I'm going to be distributing the 5 to x squared and then to negative 3. So 5 times x squared would be 5x squared. And then 5 multiplied by negative 3 would be negative 15, because a negative times a positive equals a negative. And then I can put back my plus 10, negative 4x. And I have now distributed and removed this bracket. Now I can look for like terms. And in this example, I can find some constant terms with my negative 15 and my positive 10. So negative 15 plus 10 would be negative 5. So I would have 5x squared negative 5 minus 4x. But now we're going to learn how to organize our work a little neater. And generally what we would do when simplifying expressions is put the exponents with the greater value at the start. So here we have 5x squared. So I have an exponent of 2. So that would still be at the start, 5x squared that has the greatest value. But then I would have my negative 4x, because negative 4x is to the power of 1. But we don't write that, so I could just have negative 4 x and then I can put back my negative 5 at the end. So the simplified expression would be 5x squared minus 4x minus 5. Okay let's look at our very last one 4 and then in brackets 2x plus 3 negative 3 and then in another bracket x minus 2. So now I have two lots of distribution so I'm going to distribute this 4 to the 2x and then to the 3 and then I'm going to distribute this negative 3 to the x and then to the negative 2. So let's start with 4 multiplied by 2x would give me 8x, and then 4 times plus 3 is plus 12. Now I have my second set of distribution, negative 3 times x is negative 3x, 
and then negative three times negative two actually becomes a positive because a negative times a negative is a positive. So we have plus six. Now I can begin to combine my like terms. So to do that, I'm gonna organize it a little better, putting them together. So I have eight X minus three X. I have my X and my X. And then I have positive 12 plus positive six makes it very easy to see that I have 8x minus 3x, which will leave me with 5x. And then I have positive 12 plus positive 6 equals positive 18. So 5x plus 18 is my simplified equivalent algebraic expression. Simple. So now it's your turn. Have a go at these four examples here. They get progressively harder. If you need to, go back to the video because each question is similar to the question that we worked on together. So press pause the video now and spend some time on this. Good luck. And there you have it. That was how to simplify algebraic expressions. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to find loads more videos to help you with everything you need to know about maths. But for now, guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.